So the judges just need one moment to kind of pause. That's a good idea. Thank you for saying that, Mr. Yeah. Williams. Let's meet our team. And MacArthur, we didn't get to meet you, so we want to meet you as well. Uh, but say your name, please, and your grade. My name is Jayla LaCour, and I am in the 11th grade. My name is Toria Davis, and I'm in the 11th grade. My name is Lucy Villalon, and I'm in the 11th grade. I'm Abigail Borrego, and I'm an 11th grader as well. My name is Jordan Fagans, and I'm an 11th grader. My name is Nina Fanning, and I'm a 9th grader. My name is Tiana Ifon, and I'm an 11th grader. All 11th graders and a 9th grader. So speak loudly when you're in the microphone. MacArthur, let's meet you all real quick, and then we're going to get back to the next presentation. Do we need to introduce you too, sir? You can tell everyone. My name is Anthony Simmons, and I'm the GRTC instructor at MacArthur High School. My name is Nidu, and I'm a senior. My name is Lexi, and I'm a junior. My name is Juliet, and I'm a junior. My name is Nancy, and I'm a senior. Oh. I'm Alan Gonzalez, and I'm a senior. My name is Ada, and I'm a senior. My name is Angelica, and I'm a senior. My name is Josh, and I'm a senior. Thanks so much, Josh. <laughs> and, and proctors, you can, you, can, um, you can introduce yourselves as well. How are we doing, judges? We're about ready? Yep. OK, so moving into our second presentation, once again, let's welcome Skyline High School. Our vision statement is that Raider Riders believe college and career planning is an important step that provides new pathways for family, self, and future generations. And the challenge that we chose is to design solutions to help students after graduation um, and pick options to fulfill their aspirations. We chose this challenge because not knowing enough about college or your options can be more stressful than needed. And if you don't really know about your options, you can't exactly do what you want. So we believe this ties in with everything in general. Um, the student choices were scholarships, college and career choices, internships, community and business partners. The community engagement, we went to libraries and interviewed some of the people at the libraries. We made a blog to where we could post like the different opportunities and we have communication with our campuses like our principals and assistant principals. So the name that we chose was Writer Writers. And the reason why we chose our name was because as you make plans for your life, you are making your own story come to light. Therefore, because you're making, um, we're making your story that come true, you are writing your, we're writing your future. To sustain ourselves in the future, um, we have come up with a blog that will have updates about the different opportunities such as the internships. And we will post things for about the community to raise awareness about the activities and stuff that we are doing. And we also have, uh, we will continue to conduct surveys throughout the school to raise awareness and see what students need so we can change as uh, the student demographic changes throughout the years for our school. And we plan to pass down our group, the Raider Writers, to pick students who have stood out among each grade or who are interested in spreading awareness as well through the different clubs and stuff at our school. OK. And writing your future, our goal is to uh, offer students the opportunity to learn about their options and choices beyond high school, beyond college, graduation, and how this will impact families, community, and ensure achievements of ultimate life aspirations. This connects to community, our libraries, a blog, and a campus involvement. And we had asked, we had a survey and we had asked a couple students what was their aspirations in life. And I asked the 10th grader and he says to not only finish high school, but to also 
finish college with a diploma. And I talked to a library patriot, and they said to become an environmental scientist in aid conservation efforts. One of the ninth graders in our school said they wanted to make their family proud and continue helping out with them by studying and doing better for themselves. One of our seniors said that they think they want to study in franchise or medicine. One of our juniors said, I want to finish high school and dedicate my life to helping people achieve happiness. One of my seniors said that they want to go to college and succeed in life to um, help their family out that wasn't able to go to college. Uh, I asked a 10th grader, and they said they aspire to be good, a good and successful person after high school. And and we are the Raider Riders. Turn around. Yeah, turn around. <laughs> oh my God. Since Skyline is the largest uh, high school in the state of Texas, uh, was your sample feedback from fellow students big enough, or could you have done a lot more, or you were satisfied with the sample responses that you got from your fellow students? I felt like it impacted a lot of 10th graders and juniors, but I wanted, ooh, but I would like it to impact a lot of seniors, but seniors was really busy, but what they was doing, because it's the end of the year. Regarding internships have you begun the process of identifying and acquiring internships and if you have what kinds of internships have you acquired for your students okay so for the internships recently uh, our schools preparing students um, through this organization at our school called education is freedom so we're partnering with them to raise awareness to 10th graders and juniors to let them know that they they can apply for this opportunity to intern with different companies and so through this, I've gotten maybe 10 or so students that are 10th or 11th graders. And next week is the job fair where they will inter like interview to intern at different companies. And also like through like our different programs, like I'm part of a program at my school, the World Languages Department. So through that, we also get internships with uh, different companies um, that are interested in like global ac activities. And so like through the different departments at our school, they're are offer up internships through different departments. Thank you. How do you guys see the blog growing next year? Would you want it to serve more schools or just more people within your school? Um, so I made the blog. We helped set up the blog, but I, was it, I organized the blog. So what I want to see for our blog, like what we want to see for the blog to grow is maybe to have a bigger presence at our school to show like each department have it like showed on our school announcements, which are through videos. And so students have awareness that they can go onto our blog and see that the different opportunities, instead of having to run around our large campus trying to figure out where they need to go, they can just go to our blog and figure out where they can go from there. Okay. Uh, love your coordinated charts. You did a great job with that design. Um, my question is, uh, how many students do you think total were impacted by the project? Well, we had 121 students do our survey, and we had about 20 library and patrons. So, but we ain't plan to. We plan to go back to the libraries and get more questions and surveys so we can complete our blog. Great job, everybody. You mentioned that you hope to see this continue and that there would be others in the future that would do the work that you've done this year. How do you plan to select those people to carry on for you? So um, because we have the different uh, career development programs at our school, um, we plan to ask like the teachers or the heads of those programs who they think would be uh, fit for this program, and then we will go recruit those students. And they can also recruit other students that they know have the same mentality towards like getting others prepared for after college. And like even planning with the, our class presidents for each grade and 
like the student council and stuff as well to see who all like we should be targeting to see who wants to be in our group for the next year. Great job, y'all. One last question. Uh, in terms, I think you all were 11th graders or younger. Uh, in terms of kind of thinking through how you get some additional perspectives or points of view, have you guys thought about or addressed that in any way in terms of folks who might have gone through the process of picking a college already or anything else? So, um, We not only interviewed kids at our school, but we interviewed adults and parents who have tried to go to college or who wanted to go to college but couldn't because of an incident happened in their family or whatever. But we we asked them opinions and they were basically saying, follow your heart, don't give up. Um, do what you think is best for you and not what's best for somebody else. And to just follow your dream. Aside that from the students that I asked, they said that the biggest issue right now is not knowing how to get scholarships and I'm hoping that in this project that we're doing, we can put that on our blog, more scholarships and offers, because that's the biggest issue for people since financial aids and stuff. I talked to a few students as well, and some of our administrators. The administrators, they tried to help us find different types of colleges that would suit what we want to do, what we want to study. But the few students that I did interview, they uh, didn't even know what college is they would offer what they wanted. Let's hear it for Skyline High School, everybody.